Welcome back to the Roasty Mike Workshop. It's been a minute since I've posted anything, and I figured what better project to jump back into it than an extremely ill-advised power supply repair. Because I could die, and dying would get a whole lot of views. If I die, remember to like and subscribe for more content. All right, so let's flip the camera and see what we're dealing with. Sorry I didn't record anything leading up to this. I, I didn't think it would be an interesting video until I got all the way to this point. But uh, this is a power supply from a Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Special Edition PS4 that I bought as a uh, very generic power failure um, label. It was uh, definitely sold as not working, um, <clears throat> but uh, not much more information than power failure. It was good enough price that I thought putting another $30 replacement power supply would make it worth my time to flip. It's a pretty simple process and uh, it was pretty easy to get into. Except apparently this thing is like the third or fourth generation of PS4 fats and uses a different power supply than what I have spares of. So I'll, I'll throw the numbers on screen uh, right now. Anyway, um, as advertised, this thing was dead as a doornail. When I opened it up, it was clearly liquid damaged, but curiously, it only looked damaged in one specific area right by the AC intake of the power supply. The rest of the whole machine looked fine and actually fairly clean for a machine of its age. You know, normally these things are caked in dust, and, and this one really wasn't. Um, <clears throat> I'll show you here, right? Very little dust, um, again, in context for a machine of its age. Um, it's just pretty clean, good looking machine, um, all told, um, just wouldn't turn on. So then I, you know, I broke open the power supply just out of curiosity, um, keeping in mind to uh, avoid any of these uh, extremely unpleasant shocks like from this capacitor right here. I think that's a 450 volt um, beast of a capacitor and um, what I discovered was that I had no voltage on anything in here like this capacitor wasn't holding anything even after being plugged in um, and it was at that point that I discovered uh, the the fuse that normally goes right here between these uh, the AC connection points it's this this fuse right here actually um, was broken but every other fuse um, on the board that I could find and, and and truthfully anything else on the board I was able to measure and, and see if um, there was anything wrong it all looked pretty good um, but that primary fuse right there had blown that's a six amp 250 volt fuse so uh, slow blow ceramic fuse no less um, so for something like that uh, to blow conventional wisdom says that um, there's something very wrong um, with something else on the board and that your problem isn't the fuse the problem is something else on the board that has really gone haywire um, but what I noticed uh, was that you know it was so nasty and you can see over here right you can see uh, the remnants of the nastiness this is after I've given a first pass clean um, it's just it was just gross and I, I think I have some of the original images um, where I was taking photos of the work I'll, I'll put those on screen here in a minute um, that's the there we go this is the underside of the board um, and it is also really nasty you can see where some of this conformal coating and um, and whatnot has come up it looks pretty nasty um, there's a little bit of corrosion oh there's a lot bit of corrosion um, and um, while it looks bad again everything I've seen looks like it is still somehow testing good so I figured 
if I'm already ignoring conventional wisdom of don't work on power supplies if you don't know what you're doing um, and and to uh, ignore um, the main fuse as being a worthwhile culprit to actually troubleshoot uh, then might as well just jump into it and uh, see if replacing that fuse will actually get us to where we need to go it's extremely dangerous and really really stupid and um, frankly that's what sells on YouTube so let's let's make it happen I had to go out and um, specifically get uh, this type of ceramic slow blow fuse um, you know they're intended to be forgiving fuses right so they're slow blow they're intended to um, forgive some jumps here and there um, so it's not exactly something I have on hand especially a coaxial one where the wires are actually attached to it um, that alone should tell you that these things are really not meant to be replaced right once they're once they blow the assumption is that there's something so wrong with the power supply uh, that uh, you should really throw it away but again here we are because I'm stupid so uh, I went out and bought uh, some replacement fuses 6 amp 250 volt coaxial ceramic slow blow fuses um, and you know that um, you gotta buy you gotta buy from Yoyolmans they're the best in fuses anyway let's get on with it let's get this thing soldered in and uh, and then we'll get to the real fun we'll take this thing outside in as safe of an environment as I can get it and see if we can turn this thing on and don't melt the whole machine down anyway let's get to it okay so here we are we got our fuses let's get one of these bad boys out and before you do anything as with all items I order from China in particular uh, yeah let's verify first that it's even good great okay let's get this thing into position Ooh, it's a good fit.
yikes. Don't work on power supplies.